Hello, hello, hello. This is Orchinette again with another episode of It's About Us. And yes, you see people in the background because I'm shopping. Supposed to be. I'm actually here at Tango Mall right now. And we're, uh, my children are actually doing their post-Christmas shopping. And I said I'd take a break and just sit here and relax and chill in the lounge and have me a cup of tea. Yes, a cup of tea. Mmm, nothing like a cup of tea. Hot tea or hot coffee and relax. Mm. With some nice jazz in the background. Well anyways, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, Mr. Henry Pace. He changed the face of music as what we know it today. I don't know if you remember it being called Phonograph. Yes, he actually created a place called Pace Phonograph Company. Um, this was back in the uh, early 1900s and um, his interest for music, it struck a uh, something within him that says I need to own my own and a lot of times we're telling you you need to own your own and I don't know why we don't take that opportunity that chance and just put our money into our dreams sometimes you have to invest into yourself in order to see it come to fruition yeah he did borrow $30,000 to start his own company and it became the first African-American owned recording studio. He actually had people like Ethel Waters who actually was the first major artist that signed up with him and it actually, the records that she produced, um, over half a million in records were sold. Um, but he believed in that music. His interest in music was so, it was so amazing. Um, in fact, um, it was not just a United States thing. It was something outside of the United States, although he was born in Covington, Georgia, yeah. Um, but uh, the Philippine agents and West Indian agent took an interest in his music and his sound, and they helped him establish in 1923 the Black Swan Company. All right. It's, Jeanette with another episode mm -hmm, of It's About Us. Thank you.